Today I will talk about reading mosaic knitting charts. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I put out new knitting tutorial videos every Friday. Please like and subscribe. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here. Mosaic knitting charts are a little bit different than regular knitting charts. There's a trick to charting mosaic and reading mosaic knitting charts. So I have here a mosaic knitting chart. And you can see here that there are some rows missing. The wrong side rows are missing on this chart. That's not necessarily unusual for a chart. Some lace charts only chart the right side rows. The repeats are noted in this particular chart by the red lines. You will also notice that every other chart row alternates the color used. This ties in with the fact that uh, the first stitch and the last stitch of every row is worked in the working yarn when working mosaic. Therefore, the stitch color at the beginning of uh, each right side row tells you what color is the working yarn for that row. So in this instance, row one, you are working with color B and all black squares will be knitted and all white squares will be slipped with the yarn held to the wrong side of the work. So to read this chart, you begin with the right side row at row one, and again, color B is your working yarn. You will knit all black squares and slip with the yarn held to the wrong side of the work, the white squares, and then you will repeat until you get to the last stitch and the last stitch is knitted. To work your wrong side rows, this follows from the mosaic rules. The wrong side rows, the second row in a working color is always worked the same as the first row. So to follow the chart for your wrong side rows, you will work from left to right and again work the black squares and slip with the yarn held to the wrong side of the work, the white squares. So on a wrong side row, you will be slipping with the yarn held to the front. Whether you knit or purl the wrong side row will depend on whether you are working in stockinette base fabric or garter base fabric. If you are working in garter, you will knit and then slip with the yarn held in front and then knit. If you are working stockinette, your wrong side rows will be purled. You will purl these. You will slip the white square with the yarn held in front and then purl and repeat until the last stitch and purl the last stitch. If working in garter, you will knit the last stitch. That will be your row one and two. Row three, you are switching colors. Now your working yarn is the color A you will knit the white squares and slip with the yarn held to the wrong side of the work all of the black squares. And again repeat between the red lines until the last stitch and knit the last stitch. And again wrong side rows you will work the white stitches slip with the yarn held to the front now that we're working on the wrong side all of the black squares. And if you're working in garter, you will be knitting. So it would be knit three, slip one with yarn held to the front, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit three, slip one, knit three, repeat until the last stitch, knit one. And this pattern is a 20 row repeat. So you will work your 20 rows and then repeat again from the first. This is that chart completed. You can see the pattern matching that chart. 
Here is another example from a Barbara Walker book. It's very similar. These, the wrong side rows are actually numbered along the left, but still one chart row represents two worked rows. And this one as well notes the stitch multiple or the pattern multiple right there. But it is read exactly the same way. You decide which color is represented by black squares and which color is represented by white squares. So whatever you've chosen for your black square color, that's your working yarn in this row. All of the black squares are knitted, all of the white squares are slipped. So this is another way of writing mosaic charts, but still the first and the last stitch are always worked in the working color. So they alternate going up the sides on both sides. The repeat is noted and one chart row represents two worked rows in your knitting. So that is how to read mosaic knitting charts. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.